The James Webb Telescope is finally in space, but the work has not stopped there. The optical instruments need to work for it to send us clear images of our distant past. All the 18 hexagonal mirror segments must align within 10 nanometers of one another to form a single big primary mirror. Of course, that sounds easier said than done, because achieving this aim requires making fine adjustments as small as 1 10,000th the width of a human hair. The phase during which these adjustments take place is known as phasing. Remember that these adjustments can take at least three months to execute. However, once the process is complete, the telescope will finally fulfill its function. The mirror alignment process includes seven phases, segment image identification, segment alignment, image stacking, coarse phasing, fine phasing, telescope alignment over instrument fields of view, and iterate alignment for final correction. Let's look at each of these phases in detail to understand how the entire process will take place. The first phase requires the alignment of the telescope in relation to the spacecraft. It will use star trackers to make precise pointing moves, as these star trackers work as a GPS for the spacecraft. Initially, the spacecraft position from the star tracker will not match the mirror segment positions. Later on, the telescope is pointed towards an isolated and bright star, HD 84406, to capture images that are brought together to form a picture of the sky. Of course, you must remember that there is not just one mirror looking at the sky, as there are 18 mirrors, each of which is tilted at the beginning towards a unique part of the sky. Because of this, the telescope will capture 18 copies of the star. Each one is out of focus and has a unique distortion. These initial star copies from the telescope are known as segment images. Depending on the mirror's starting positions, it might take many iterations to locate all the 18 segments from a single image. The job of the space agency is to move the 18 mirror segments to understand which segment creates which segment image. Once the matching of the segment is done to the image, the mirrors are tilted to bring all of the images near a common point. It helps analyze the image further, and such an arrangement is known as an image array. The second phase of mirror alignment is segment alignment, which is a process that corrects most of the positioning errors of the mirror segments. The process begins by defocusing the segment images by moving the secondary mirror slightly. Of course, defocusing is not easy and requires mathematical analysis to execute. Once it is done, the segment adjustment leads to 18 well-corrected telescopes. Keep in mind that the segments are still not working as a single mirror during this phase. We move on to the third phase, which is known as image stacking. During this phase, each segmented image must be stacked on top of one another to put all the light in one place. Then the individual segment images are moved so that they fall at the field center to produce a unified image. The third phase prepares the telescope for the fourth phase, which is coarse phasing. The image stacking is one in a sequence in groups of three. During the fourth phase, the segments must be in line with one another with the precision and accuracy of something smaller than the wavelength of light. Coarse phasing is used to measure and correct the vertical displacement of the mirror segments. The technology used during this phase is called dispersed fringe sensing, and the near cam is used to capture light spectra from 20 separate pairings of the mirror segments. The spectrum will look like a barber pole pattern, with an angle or slope determined by the two segments and their piston difference. The fifth phase, also known as fine phasing, is done three times after the fourth phase. Besides that, it will also be done routinely from time to time during the lifespan of the web. The phase corrects the leftover alignment errors using the defocusing method. However, the secondary mirror is not used during this phase. Instead, special optical elements inside the instrument are used that introduce various defocusing amounts for each image. After this phase, it is time for the telescope alignment over instrument fields of view. During this phase, the alignment will be extended to the remaining instruments. The measurements are made at multiple field points across the various science instruments. The variation in intensity indicates that there are larger errors at that field point. So, an algorithm will calculate the final corrections required to achieve the perfect telescope alignment across all the science instruments. Finally, we have the last phase, which is the iterate alignment for final correction. The final augment ensures that all small positioning errors are corrected or removed in the primary mirror. The fine phasing process is used to measure and make any corrections. After that, an image quality check is done across all the instruments. 
and once verification of the quality is done, the process is complete. These are the seven phases that will ensure the proper alignment of the primary mirror of the telescope. As of now, the web team has completed three phases out of the seven. Of course, completing the phases will take time, but once it is done, we will finally be in a position to start using the telescope for its purpose. By the summer months, Webb will finally send one of its clear images through this primary mirror. Hopefully, everything will go as planned, and the telescope will not go through any hiccups. We are excited to see where this goes and when the final mirror alignment takes place. Are you as excited as us? Let us know in the comments below as we would love to hear your thoughts on this entire process. For more such videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel.